A perfect storm of red tape, driver shortages and other Brexit issues are destroying businesses across the board, but especially in food and drink. Almost a third of UK hauliers, according to the Road Haulage Association, say they are having to avoid working with the food and drink industry due to increased checks and admins. Costs are up everywhere on materials, admin and transport, 20 per cent in distilleries. So what compensation is planned for those affected when the, yeah. or when the Prime Minister said F business? Was that an instruction? Minister? Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I mean, there, was, there was a lot in that further supplementary. Uh, but can I just remind him that most of the trade deals that he and his party have not supported are actually the EU's trade deals. And his party's policy is to rejoin the EU. They were against the EU-Japan deal in the European Parliament, abstained here. They were against the Canada deal. They were against the Singapore deal. They abstained on South Africa, abstained on Korea as well. Secondly, Mr Speaker, when it comes to fisheries, I'll refer him back to what the ONS said not this past Friday, Mr Speaker, but what the ONS said in relation to February's data. He's so out of date. This is what they said in April. The disruptions to food exports in January 2021 appear to have been largely overcome and may have only had short-term impacts on trade. That's what they said in April, Mr Speaker, yet he's still not up to date. When it comes to hauliers, we are discussing all the time with the Department for Transport what extra action needs to be taken. And finally, Mr Speaker, he's asking for compensation. Perhaps he can come to this House and account for the £180 million of money given by this Government to the Scottish Government for dealing with the consequences and the impact of Brexit at the end of the transition period, because we are not at all sure where that money has gone. Let's